this video we're going to look at subtracting more than two integers without a calculator and uh, we'll do these these two exa example one I'll do this one you do this one example two I'll do this one then you do this one so let's start with example one now the first thing first way I want you to look at it is we're going to um, just remember to go from left to right uh, and so just subtract okay so you gotta remember obviously PEMDAS which is the order of operations but like with PEMDAS you know you've gotta go from left to right okay so you go from left to right and you do all the parentheses okay and then you go from left to right and you do all the exponents you go from left to right you do all the multiplications and divisions okay these go together um, you go from left to right and you do all the additions or subtractions okay and that's what we have additions and subtractions in these problems okay uh, so but we have to go from left to right so that's something you gotta remember right so if I was to do this problem here I've just I've gotta go from left to right so I'll go 5 minus 7 first of all and then I'll subtract four so I do this subtraction we just have two subtractions gotta go from left to right and I'll do um, five minus seven first so I just put my finger over there okay so what is five minus seven you have five dollars you subtract seven dollars what do you get well combining these guys right you'd be in debt by how much negative two so these guys combine to make negative two then you write out the whole problem all over again okay so just step by step uh, is the way to do it negative two minus four I'm in debt by two dollars I subtract four dollars what do I have now in debt by two subtract four I'm in debt by six dollars right so I want you to do this one take your time do one step at a time and get the answer here. Remember you gotta go from left to right so the first thing you're gonna do is the 2 minus 8. What does that make? So you're, forget you're forgetting about that one because you gotta go from left to right 2 minus 8. You have two dollars you just subtract eight dollars how much money is that? Negative 6 right? Now we need to subtract 11 so I'm in debt by six dollars. If I subtract eleven, won't you be more in debt? By the way, that's two negatives, and they're not making a positive, are they? Two negatives don't always make a positive. See, I'm in debt by six dollars. If I subtract eleven, I'm more in debt. I'm in debt by seventeen. So two negatives made a negative there, right? So it's not as simple as two negatives always make positive. That that's not true. Two negatives make a positive when you're, you know, subtracting a negative, when you're multi multiplying by negatives or dividing negatives, but but not this case. So the point is, you got to understand negative numbers. You got to think about what does this mean? What is it telling us? Okay, now that was just subtracting from left to right. Okay, so that's something I want you to understand. But I also want you to understand that. Um, we, we can change the subtractions to plus negative like we saw in the previous video and we can get that way so once you do these two problems again and this time we're going to change the plus negative and you'll probably like this way better most students do so we gotta remember that subtraction is the same thing as adding negatives okay subtraction is the same thing as adding negatives so whenever you see a minus sign you can change it to plus negative right so blam blam plus negative blam blam plus negative now it sev says 5 plus negative 7 plus negative 4 5 good guys 7 bad guys 4 bad guys put all those guys together what do you get okay now again we're adding when we're adding that's yeah uh, what's the word commutative right so I mean we just have five good guys seven bad guys and four bad guys you can go from left to right or you can put the negatives together and then add everything up whichever way you want to do it so just for fun I'll go okay the seven negatives and the four negatives makes eleven negatives right and I also have the five positives and if I put these guys together 
5 positives plus 11 negatives, what does that give me? 6 bad guys, right? So I've changed the subtraction to plus negative, you can do that. Okay. Uh, obviously what you can't do is go 5 minus 7 minus 4 and then go, you know, 7 minus 4 is 3, 5 minus 3 is 2. Obviously that's wrong. Okay, so why, why is that wrong? Well, I didn't go from left to right. I did this one first. See, that's not okay. Because, by, by the way, that's not a positive 7. That's a negative 7. Now, if you saw that that was negative 7 minus 4 to give negative 11, that's one thing. But it, it's not. You can't do 7 minus 4 because it's not a positive 7. Point is, you didn't go from left to right, and you didn't change subtraction to plus negative. So, anyway, just wanted to show you that. So, and this one, again, just wants you to change subtractions to plus negative and, and figure out the answer a different way. So you're just going to go blam, 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 blam. See, plus negative, plus negative. Now, you can put it any way you want. You can put the negative 8 and the negative 11 together, and then add the 2 at the end. Or you can do 2 plus negative 8, and then add the negative 11. But you'll get the right answer no matter what, because you did the, the subtraction equals plus negative. So that's, that's a lot of students enjoy doing, doing it that way. So just for fun, I'll, I'll put the negatives together. My negative 8, my negative 11 gives negative 19. I have a positive 2, so I'm 2 plus negative 19. Negative 17. Okay. And I mean, really, I mean, that, that this, this method, uh, the blam blam method, I mean, it's so much fun because, you know, we can t do big, long problems. We don't have to go step by step. I mean, if we were to go left to right on this, it would be kind of cumbersome because it would be negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12 plus 3 minus 7 minus 2 minus 1 plus 5. Negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9 minus 7 minus 2 minus 1 plus 5. See what I'm saying? Negative 9 minus 7 is negative 16 minus 2 minus 1 plus 5. Do you see what I'm saying? It's kind of like the 10 hundred green bottles on the wall. It's going to take a long time. So you might enjoy the blam blam method for this. Okay. So whenever I see a subtract sign, I can go plus negative. Even this one. I mean, it doesn't do any harm to do that. That's it's still a negative four. You know, plus negative four. You know. <laughs> anyway, plus negative, plus negative, plus negative plus negative. So I've changed all my subtractions to plus negative. That will never do any harm. It won't won't hurt at all because it's the same thing, isn't it? Right? So at the end of the day, if you have $10 and you subtract $3, isn't that the same thing as having $10 and adding a negative 3? Right? That's the same thing, isn't it? So subtraction, because you're still going to get $7 either way. 10 minus 3 is 7. 10 plus a negative 3 is 7, right? So a subtraction is the same thing as plus negative. So we're just changing all these to plus negative. And something I like to do is I like to put the good guys together and then put the bad guys together or vice versa. So uh, let's see, my bad guys have got 4 negatives and 8 negatives. That's 12 bad guys, right? Um, then I've got uh, 7 bad guys that's 19 and then two bad guys is 21 and one bad guy that's 23 bad guys I don't know if you want to add all up together at the same time you don't have to but um, you know I, I could just do these together and go okay that's negative 12 and then if I take these guys I got seven bad guys and three that's nine and one that's you know put these guys together that's ten bad guys right then we can do the good guys so we've um, taken care of these taking care of these we have three good guys and five good guys left that's eight so they combine to get eight right so eight good guys and then add everything up together so I got twelve bad guys and eight good guys and ten bad guys I'm gonna put my bad guys together again twelve bad guys and ten bad guys that's twenty two bad guys plus eight good guys okay twenty two bad guys and eight good guys combine those together what do we get uh, that would be 22 minus 8 is 14 right am I right in saying that isn't that 14 right so 22 bad guys and 8 good guys combined gives 14 bad guys and that's the answer right 
And it all came about from changing subtraction to plus negative, right? So I want you to try it on this one. Just go along, change the subtractions to plus negative, and add everything the same, you know, combine things the same way. So subtraction, plus negative, plus negative. Do you see any more? So do the rest. So this one, plus negative, plus negative, plus negative, right? Then combine the bad guys, combine the good guys, and get the answer. Press pause if you need more time. Take your time. So bad guys, we've got two and four, that makes six bad guys. And over here I've got um, seven and eight, that's 15 bad guys. Just do these together, 15. And then I've got another bad guy over here, right? So good guys, I've got a three. And I've got a one, okay. Then I can just combine the bad guys again if I want. So that's uh, 6 and 15, that's 21. 21 and 5 is 26. Or I can go 15 and 5 is 20. See, that makes 20 bad guys and 6 is negative 26. So 26 bad guys altogether, right? 3 good guys and 1 good guy, that's 4 good guys. So 26 bad guys, 4 good guys, what does that make? Twenty-two bad guys, negative twenty-two, right? Might want to do just one more. So I'm just gonna just write this down and and uh, press pause and do it all by yourself. Negative three minus five plus four minus eight minus two plus uh, seven. So press pause. So write this down. Press pause. Do it all by yourself. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'll do it now. I hope you took it down, press pause and tried it yourself. I'll do it now. Whenever I see a subtract sign, I can go plus negative. Now I can put the negatives together and the positives together. That's kind of a, an easy way of doing it. You don't have to do it that way, but it's an easy way of doing it. Three negatives and five negatives, that makes eight negatives. Uh, eight negatives and two negatives, that makes ten negatives. Okay, then I got four positives and seven positives, that makes eleven positives. Um, put these negatives together again. Eighteen negatives, eleven positives, so eighteen bad guys, eleven good guys. Seven bad guys, right? Negative seven. So let me just check that. So we got ten bad guys, fifteen, eighteen bad guys. 11 good guys, uh, 7 bad guys, right?